Welcome to another LinoCut tutorial video. This one's going to be about registration, which is the process of lining up your block with your paper so everything is centered or where you want it to be on the paper. I'm going to show you three different ways that I do this, starting with this small lino cut. This little octopus was carved into soft cut linoleum, which is a very soft, squishy rubber. It prints very easily without a press. I'm going to ink up the lino cut and get it prepped for printing. If you want to learn more about printing without a press, you can watch my hand printing tips video. I have prepped my paper beforehand by cutting it down to the size that I want for this particular lino cut. I found that it's easier to print this particular lino cut with the old fashioned eyeballing it technique. I lay down my paper and very carefully place the carving down as flat as I can, meaning that the entire carving touches the paper at once. I take my time to line it up with the center of the page as much as I can, and then I press it. I'm using my hand and a tool called a baron. This is definitely the simplest form of registration, and it works best with lino cuts that might not need to be perfectly lined up in a specific way every time. Let's get into some slightly more complex and reliable ways to do registration next. For this method, you will need a piece of paper that is larger than the paper you are going to be printing on, a pencil, ruler, and optionally a Sharpie. I start by placing the paper I will be printing on onto my larger piece. I take my pencil and carefully make a mark as close as I can to each corner of the paper I'll be printing on. I remove the paper I'm printing on and then connect each mark using a ruler. Creating this box the same size as the paper will allow me to place my lino cut block in the center of the paper area before I place the paper on top of it. This selkie lino cut prints best by having the paper laid on top of it, so I'm just going to ink it up and then center it within the box that I drew. When I lay my paper down, I use a method that was taught to me in university where you line up the corners on one side of the paper with your registration key, which is the box that was drawn, and then hold it in place as you lay the rest of the paper down on top of the lino cut. Doing it this way ensures that your paper will fall where you have drawn the box, which lines it up with the lino cut within it. If you want to take this method one step further so you don't have to eyeball lining up your carving within the box that was drawn for the paper, you can trace around the carving as well. This way, when you line everything up before printing, you can place your carving within the lines drawn and then line up your paper as well. carving is all linked up and now I'm just going to line it up with the lines that were traced around it and then I'll lay my paper down over top to print it. While I'm printing it does shift around a bit but the paper is being held in place on the carving by the ink like they're stuck together so there's no smearing or smudging happening here as I'm printing. This last method of creating a registration key uses these pins and tabs. They're called Turns Burton pins. I've got a thick piece of cardboard, not the corrugated stuff. It's like really thick paper and it's larger than the paper that I want to print on. I'm going to lay the paper onto the cardboard, leaving enough space for the metal pins and then repeat the same process that I did in the previous method of registration. I'm going to mark the corners of my paper and then connect them using a sharpie and a ruler to create a box that is the same size as the paper I want to print on. Now I'm going to line up two of the metal pins and tape them down onto the cardboard just outside the area my paper will go. You want to use two pins so that your paper won't twist or turn as you try to line everything up. Now I need to add tabs to the paper I want to print on. This must be done before printing starts so that all of the pieces of paper that will be printed on are prepared for the printing process. 
So I line my paper up with the box that I drew and then attach the tabs to the pins. The tabs have a circular hole in them that attaches to the little circular bit that sticks up on the pins. And then I tape the tabs to the paper. I try to make sure the tape I'm using isn't overly sticky or it might tear the paper when you try to remove it later. I either stick the tape to my clothes or use green painter's tape and I do this to every piece of paper that I'm going to be printing on. This lino cut is a two block lino cut. This method of registration works best when you're lining up more complex lino cuts, especially ones that have multiple blocks or a reduction lino cut print. I like to line up the blocks within the paper area and trace around them so I know how they need to be lined up when I go to print them. The first block that gets printed for this one is a gradient of two blues, also called a rainbow roll in printmaking. So here I am preparing my inks and rolling them out so I can roll them onto the block. As I ink up this block, I think it's a good time to answer a commonly asked question, which is, how many prints can you get from inking up the block once? And the answer is just one. After a block has been printed to the paper, the majority of the ink has come off of the block and it needs to be inked up again to be printed again. I don't need to wash it in between prints, but I just roll a new layer of ink onto the block each time. Now I'm ready to print the first block. I line it up carefully with the outline on my registration, and once it's in place, I grab one of my prepped pieces of paper with the tabs on it. I hold the paper so that it won't touch the block as I clip the tabs into place, and then I carefully let the paper come down on top of the inked up block. I use my wooden spatula to press it to the paper, and then carefully separate the pins and tabs from each other as I lift the paper off of the block. I print the first block onto all of my prepped pieces of paper before I repeat this process with the second block, and I do wait for the ink to completely dry in between printing the separate layers. Once the first layer has dried, I ink up the second block that makes up this print and then I repeat the process. I line it up with the outline I traced onto my registration, connect the tabs and pins as I carefully lay the paper on top of the inked up block, and then press it. Since the pins and tabs haven't moved or changed on my registration or my paper, the paper will fall in the same place that it did when I printed the first block. As long as I've lined up the carving within the outline I traced on my registration, everything should line up and print where I want it to. If you want to know more about creating a multi-block lino cut like this one, let me know in the comments, or if you want to know about reduction lino cut as well. I hope you enjoyed watching a few of the methods I use for registration so that my prints end up lined up on the paper the way that I want them to. I have a few other lino cut tutorial videos available on my channel if you'd like to watch those, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you see future videos. All of the prints seen in this video are available in my online shop, which I have linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.